What's up good people? Welcome back to The Moragori. Thank you so much for watching all our previous videos, subscribing and also sharing our beautiful wonderful videos with your friends. So today we are working on a very interesting project. We will be doing, uh, we are going to be repairing a puncture on a bicycle. So this is a skill every young man, every other man, everyone should really have. It's a very simple job to do and you don't need to go to the garage to get it done. Eh? So we are going to be needing a few tools. Come, I'll show you the tools that we need. Eh? So if you look down here, the first thing that we need is um, a set of patches. We're going to need uh, some, uh, some glue. We'll need a hacksaw or a hacksaw blade. Eh? You might need a few sockets and ratchets. Then of course you're going to need a, 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 pressure, a hand a pressure pump. Then we'll need uh, two screwdrivers, preferably flat. If you can't get uh, flat screwdrivers, you can get a nice metal bar to pry the tire off. We'll need uh, uh, two spanners, number 10, and of course, suppliers. And of course, one more thing that you will need eh, mm -hmm. is uh, you will need a beer. Of course, you need a beer for this job. Sawa Sam? Okay, so let's get to it. So the first thing that you do is identify the tire that you need uh, to, to remove. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see this clearly. Eh? Are we getting a good shot? Excellent. So identify the tire that you need to remove. Make sure it uh, has got no pressure. And then pry the tire off like so. Use two flat screwdrivers. Be very gentle so as not to, you know, get the the tube and uh, make another hole in it right off like so yes and once it's off you can remove it the rest of the way using your your hand there you go so push it out and get it off like so okay so it's very 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 straightforward yes and there you go so you have it off now we are going to add some pressure. It should be a very, very, very uh, straightforward job. Eh? So for most of this, you should be able to see the hole very, very easily. And if you cannot see it, you are going to need some water. Just add some more air here. Yes, I can already feel the hole blowing away. And there we have it, it's right here. So once you see, you identify the hole, you want to get your hacksaw blade and uh, just make this area a bit rough, like so. You can also use a piece of sandpaper, you can use a grinding stone, but you want to make this area where the hole is rough, like so. This is going to help the adhesive stick so that your patch doesn't come off too fast. So just make sure you're getting it nice and good. Very nice. So once it's nice and clean, get your glue. I'm gonna poke a hole in there. It's all over the place now. And then you want to apply it like so on this area. Just enough to get the area and then uh, move your adhesive. So once that is done, we are now going to let air out of the tube so that we can put in the patch. Yeah?
Okay, so we are now ready to put on the patch. It's okay if you leave some hair in there. Let's let out some more hair. Very good, very good, very good, very good. <coughs> so, uh, going to your patch pack and remove one, one patch like so. You want to take off the top part like so. And cut it off. Just peel it off like so. Yes. There you have your patch. And then uh, it should be very very straightforward like so so once you have stuck it you want to press on it so that it, it holds so you're pressing on it completely I like to get something uh, nice and smooth on a flat smooth surface like this one and just work it hard so that it really sticks and actually can you get a close-up of this so this is how it's working so guys that's how your patch is going to look like it stick pretty well. Okay, I'm now going to put in some pressure and see if we were able to solve that problem. Yes, so that seems to be solved, but we have another puncture right here. So I'm just gonna cut the video, repeat the process, and then I'll bring you back in when we put it back all together. So be back in a jiffy, actually we are back from the jiffy. So once you're done, we've now put in the second patch. We had one patch and another patch. These are the ones that we could hear from, uh, you know, without using any other technique. But now we have gotten a wet cloth with a bit of uh, soap, with a wet piece of cloth that has a bit of soap in it, and watch out for for bubbles, okay? So we're not getting any bubbles there. Just continue washing it. No bubbles on that side. No bubbles on this side also. You want to be very gentle with it. No bubbles there too. Yeah, so we have one bubble here. It's a very small puncture over here, you can see. So you can see it just giving a bit, letting out a bit of air. It's a very, very small puncture, but we are going to fix it anyway. Because we want to do a thorough good job. It's right there, letting out just a bit. Natalie, if you can just come close and see. Just zoom in all the way down here. Just bring it down, bring it down. So if you guys look close, you can see the bubbles coming out of this right here. 
You see those bubbles? That's air getting out of your system. So you're gonna fix this real quick and then we'll be right back in our GIFE! So guys, we are back. We've put in the third patch. And now we're gonna just uh, add pressure. Check again if you have got any leaks using the water in the soapy water. I mean using the, the soapy water. And then if you do not have any leaks, you're going to proceed and put it all back together. So get your pump. Let's put a bit of that pressure in there. And uh, patches look good. Just gonna go through it with one more wash. Patches are looking good, they're not leaking. And guys, I think we got it. I think we got it. I don't see no more punctures, so we're gonna put this together real quick. It's gonna let the air out, like so. So this, these uh, three punctures were in one area. This can tell us that either we've got something in the in the tire that is causing these punctures, or you know the user of this bike might have ran over a few things that freaked in the same zone. But just as a measure, it is good to put your hand in the tire and just check you don't have anything dangling in there. Yeah? Just go all the way around in the tire, check you don't have anything in there. And if you really do not, now just put it back in like so. And then put the tire back on like so. So once again, use your screwdriver just to push it back in and there you have it so the tire is back on nicely now you're just going to put pressure back into this so we got to make sure the tube is sitting perfectly pressure on both tires and it's time to give the bike uh, you know give the bike back to the customer so ladies and gentlemen that is how you do it that is how you fix the uh, bike puncture tires three to be specific so thank you for joining us subscribe like Share with your friends, especially the boys, because boys gotta get these skills, all right? And join us next time for more videos. Bye-bye.